Hello guys, thank you for joining me for this video. So in this video, we will integrate key clock with Google IDP so that uh, we can authenticate in applications that are integrated with key clock using Google IDP. So to do that, first step will be that we'll create a new real here in the key clock. So I'll just name it as Google Auth and click on create. Okay. And now we want to add the Google identity provider here. So click on identity provider and then we will find Google here. This is the redirect URL. So we will be using it shortly. So keep it handy. Now we need to log in into Google Cloud Console. So I'll just go here. And mm, this URL is uh, console.cloud.google.com. So keep it, uh, keep a note of this URL. Let me log into it. Okay, so here I've created a organization and what you need to do is you need to create a new project. So I'll just click on new project and name it as key clock integration organization. So whatever your organization is, you can use that one in the drop down box and then location it will automatically take as organization which is okay so let's create that okay so our organization is created and within the organization i've created the project now we will go to the project that is key clock in okay so we will go to API and services here. And uh, first we need to create a OAuth consent stream. So I'll click here. Okay, so we have a new experience and old experience. Uh, let's use the new experience uh, here. And um, I'll just click on get started here. So first I need to define the application name. I'll say key clock app or uh, user support email. So I'll just put my mail ID here. Click on next audience. So our audience will be external because we want to be able to use the any test users here. So I'll select external. Click on next. Here you need to provide your contact information. So I'll just put the same mail ID here. And click on next. And of course you need to agree to this uh, term and condition. Continue and uh, click on create. Okay. So uh, it will take you to this page. I'll just click on create auth client. And to create the client again, you need to configure the consent screen. So just click on create consent screen. That will take you the, to this branding tab. And our application name is already here. You can also upload a app logo if you want. So for uh, this session, we'll skip uploading the logo. Here you have to define the application domain. So Google will only allow app uh, to uh, use authorized domains. So here you need to enter the um, application homepage. Uh, I will just enter the key clock page only here because this is only for demonstration. So I'll say keyclock.securityfocal.com and privacy policy link. I'll just add uh, dummy link here. Oh, okay. So let's add 
HTTPS there. Let me just add a dummy link. So HTTPS colon slash ish. And then we have power homepage and slash I'll say privacy. And I'll just copy this one here. And for terms of service link, I'll just put terms here. And uh, we need to add authorized domain here. So um, the application that we are adding, right? That domain should be added as trusted domain. So I'll just copy it from here and paste it here. And developer contact information again. I'll put uh, my email ID here. Click on save changes. Okay, so our branding changes are uh, saved. Now let's go to um, clients. Okay, before we do that, we need to add test users here. So um, we are currently using it as a testing application. Once the testing is successful, you can publish this app. So when you publish it, then any user from uh, this Google console will be able to add login into Keyclock. But while you're testing it, you don't want any users to be able to log in into the application. So here you would like to add specific users. So I'll just add one test user here. Okay, you need to click save twice here. Okay, so we have added our test user here. Now let's go to the OAuth client and we'll create a OAuth 2.0 client. Okay. I have observed that um, when you click on clients and create client, right? Sometimes it redirects you back to the branding page. So to get ahead of it, uh, just click on client and uh, refresh the page once. And then click on create client. And then you have to select the application type. So this is of course our web application. So that's what I will uh, select here. And then I'll say, Clock client and let uh, this authorized redirect URL is important. So, uh, this is where we want our user to be redirected once the login is successful. So, just click on add URL and get this uh, redirect URL from our uh, key clock RDM. So, let me just copy this one and paste it here and uh, click on create okay so it's created here uh, now click on edit OAuth client and here you will be able to find the client id and the client secret i'll just copy this client id and we will paste this here in the client ID field. And next, we will copy this client secret and uh, paste this in the client secret section. And mm, we just need to click on add here. So if you get this message, NTD provider successfully created, that means that we are uh, good. Now we will test this out. So to test it out, just go to the client section and copy this account URL. I'll see copy link address. Now I'll open a new incognito window and let's put this URL here. Okay, so you can see that this uh, client URL is giving me an option to sign in with uh, Google and that's what we want to test. So I'll just click on sign in with Google and uh, here I can put my test credential. So I'll say Abhishek at coinsprinter.com. Next. 
and um, here I need to put my password. Okay, so it will take you to this um, consent page. If you remember, we created this one uh, in the earlier steps. And uh, here should be the link to the privacy policy and your yeah, terms to service. So I'll just click on continue. And uh, yeah, I am able to log in successfully using my Google uh, IDP credentials. So that's it for this video case. Uh, if this video has helped you, please make sure to like this one and also subscribe to our channel.